What a fucking piece of shit. Okay, bro. Oh. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's been a while, I know. <clears throat> it's been a while. <clears throat> what do you mean with streaming normally? Starting three hours later than scheduled? Okay, bro. Who wrote that? Mm -hmm. Cakes doesn't do normal. Who asked? We just watch Athano now. He's also better at coding. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be better at coding, bro. Kind of toxic. Yeah, actually, real, real super cool. That's true. Athano kind of kills C plus plus coding now. Not gonna lie, I'd be surprised if he didn't surpass cakes. Okay, okay. I didn't know who this Athano guy is, but he sounds like a guy who can delete. Junk from his discs in less than a day. Okay, sure, bro. When Asano, Athano says see you tomorrow, you will see him tomorrow. Okay, yeah. Look at these molding guys. Mm hmm. You guys are all molding. Yikes. Very cringe, by the way. Also, when Athano says good day to you guys, how are you? He doesn't mean, how are you guys? I'm sorry, I'm late. I just woke up, went to bed really late last night. The reason I, why I was late, up late is I was doing it to your mom. <laughs> okay, bro. Uh, Wiener, thank you very much for following. I bet he wouldn't need four times longer than the average player to beat Celeste the first... Ah, oh, okay, so that... <laughs> that has nothing to do with me not streaming. It's okay, bro. Yeah, I took long playing Celeste, but you play Celeste on a fucking controller, okay? That is... F that shit's hard. That shit's really hard. Cringe. What is this supposed Hi. to be? Hello, real super cool. Good morning, man. I saw that Randy is streaming now. He's streaming his game development. Have you checked that out in J? Really cool. <clears throat> Motivates me actually to, you know. Uh, motivates me to continue in my game. I actually have done some uh, little coding off stream. GLIBCXX resolve lip defects. 2301. Why is Thai not const expression? Thai? Return a tuple of L value references bound to the arguments.
this doesn't look like coding anymore. Holy, holy. What is this supposed to be? Just classic STD stuff? Goodness. Battle.net jQuery code, apparently. Battle.net. Function, config, get config, I guess. Submit button, find this submit button, okay. Fancy. Mm -hmm. IE returns form, so it gets regular inputs. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. What happened to penis? I was watching him right now for the first time ever. Yeah, I think it, maybe it was his first stream. It's kind of like, what time is Thailand right now? When I look at code like this, I realize I don't know any modern C++, any C++. I don't use... Yeah, this kind of code, man. I don't know if this is really helpful for the future. Just, I gotta be honest. It is generic coding, yes, but goodness. Hello, Push. Good morning. How's it going, man? Are you doing it? If config checkbox, this form, tag name form, this checkbox inputs is the same as find the input checkbox. If this checkbox inputs, uh, if we have length, then this setup checkboxes. Okay, what is the problem with this? Mr. Verit? The code on uh, screen is not C++ though. On my screen? It's nice to see jQuery still being used, not gonna lie. I'd use that or vanilla over some convoluted Google intern JavaScript libcakew. Hey, I haven't made the entire context clear. I believe it dates some 12 years ago. But, but, the code may still be used. Lol. And, is that a problem? I mean, <coughs> excuse me. I've been dealing with some... Uh, uh, some cold for time for a couple of days now sorry about that fucking uh, annoying uh, the top comment that's top comment fuck this guy he got perma bund on kick context kick is now twitch even worse I'm going to make an apology video to twitch and appeal and become a Twitch streamer just to help destroy the CP gambling site. Hey, I I don't I don't want to get into any drama. Johnny Somali, ah fuck off! I don't want to give these people voice. Like this is an idiot. Yeah, why are you even giving him airtime? Exactly, delete. This and get a hobby, watch birds or craft the air or some shit. Yeah, like don't give these people any attention. These are idiots. Like they have to be banned on off platforms so they don't hurt other people with what they're doing. They uh, literally, it, it is just a net negative. Like there's nothing positive about anything that he's doing. So yeah, unfortunately, just don't give them airtime. I'm glad he's banned. Yeah, I'm good. It's good he's banned. Because if they don't have a platform to spread their voice, then, yeah. Anyways, I don't watch him. The drama unfolds. Yeah, but that kind of attention. Okay. I don't want to get into this. Memes. Oh my god. Uh, is this a burger or is this. Dude, I'm hungry now. Holy. Give me some. I want one. Dude. Oh, look at the size of this thing, man. Holy shit. Am I so out of touch? Hey, Code Agree, my man. Thank no. you. Code Agree just subscribed. Burger, Big it's the Holy Spirit. 12 years. Cake has seven Good morning, no skill gamer and no live Joel. Good morning. How are you doing? Cake has seven rub two. Cake has seven rub two. 
If you squint real hard, it looks like a certain person. It looks like an asshole to me, but uh, yeah. Like these are the butt cheeks. No. <laughs> it's Jesus? What? <laughs> this is not Jesus. What do you mean? Where do you see Jesus in here? Eh? <laughs> Jesus has all the color. How do you see Jesus? Eh? I'm not seeing it. I'm squinting real hard, man. That. If I squint real hard, I see burgers. Like, the only thing I see is like this butt cheeks here. <laughs> Sorry. Holy, it's a rare cake stream. Let's go. Hey, Z, my man. Good morning. Hello, cakes. Hello, bro. My man. How you doing? How you doing, guys? Yeah. So, well, maybe... Listen, guys. Listen. Okay. I know it sucks that I didn't stream for a while, but there was a reason. Okay? There is a reason. And I suppose it's best if I just say tell you guys what's really been going on. <clears throat> now, obviously, I just also got sick, but that's beside the point. First and foremost, I'm happy to announce my disk space has been reduced. Successfully reduced. Very proud. And on top of that, I found YouTube my old recordings. Bigabitch. Hello, Mr. Amida. You blue now, my Am man. I Good so morning. Out of touch? No, Mr. Elmida I appreciate the support, bro. Big tick support for 21 Thank years. you, sir. Thank you. One day to delete 200 gigabytes? No, 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 no. Listen. I can't just go ahead and delete the recordings that I have. So most of my stuff is in, in here, in video. It's like 800 gigabytes. Most of it is here. Oh, Dev Spudges. Thank you so much for the raid, my man. Good morning. Hope you're doing good. Hope your game is coming along well. Uh, have you noticed an increase in player numbers lately? How's it going? Like, how's your game go going at the moment? So, listen, guys, I can't just go in here, right, into recordings, and then let's say, uh, first time Odin. I actually, I can't delete this now, right? Hello I can't there, just go here. Uh, please, please. Okay. And delete this, right? Because these are recordings that I want to upload. Right, and that takes time. Like, I'm not very fast with this. So that's why I had to go through these recordings and just figure out, okay, stuff that, like, for example, right here, you might have noticed that this was in a video, right, of mine. I just, I needed some time to, like, sort this out. I can delete this now, I think. I don't think there's anything in here that I can use anymore, so I could go ahead and delete this, right? Boom. <coughs> I got to go take a break. Have a good stream. The game is still waiting on my update. I hope your game goes well. My game is coming along slowly, but it is coming along. I took some time to program off stream as well. It's coming along. Hello, guys on YouTube. I should uh, say that as well. Hello, guys. Hello, Snake Graph. And how much time will it take to learn C++ for a game dev? For those who have understanding of programming with other languages. Um, not much, I would say. Uh, C++ has the pointer thing. If you have never de dealt with pointers, you know, memory locations, that would be new for you. And until, for me, understanding what pointers really were, it took me a couple of months. You understand what pointers are, but like really understanding them takes a lot of time. Aside from that, because there's so many nuances to memory management and how many, how constructs work in C++ and what they do with memory, essentially. And where memory is in your executable as well. You have some memory that is in the executable and then you can allocate memory from the operating system, stuff like that. But you should get started in like two days. I, I would recommend you though, start with a, go, a guide of C++, right? Don't just go into the language mm, without watching a guide. Like, like a total beginner's guide, so you don't miss anything. I can recommend that. A stream this early yeah i'm trying to like listen the, uh, let's not get distracted too much so what i was gonna say is uh i'm proud to announce that i finally have some more space on my system which is great 
Mm, but essentially, I needed time to sort out all of these different recordings because they have there are so many of them. And essentially, what is happening right now is we are expecting a baby. And my wife and I sat down and we, you know, we did the calculations for like how much money we need. And we have been asking, uh, I guess, professionals or people from the uh, government, like how much money does she expect to get? How much support will we get? How much will we need? Right. Congrats. Thank you so much. And so in order to make sure that we can stay here or in any flat of that size, you know, my wife doesn't like it here very much. I, I like it here, to be honest. Congratulations. So I will thank you guys. I needed to make sure that we have safety for the future. And I noticed that whenever I was streaming, I just love streaming. I love, like, if you guys take a look at the old recordings, uh, recordings of mine, I just like streaming. Like, I've been doing it for two years now, longer than two years, and I will continue doing it, right? However, I can't just blindly stream the way I have been streaming and expect to feed a family, right? That's, that's unfortunately, like, some people have more success than others. But listen, like, it took... It took Premagen six years to quit his job. It took Pirate Software six years to get anywhere meaningful. It takes time. And since we're going to be a family, I needed to make sure that I can be given that time. You know? I need time, aka I needed to make sure that we can survive, right? And so in order to do that, I decided to take on like a small little other job. So I have been dealing with that off stream. And of course, the mini job, right? Been trying to get into that and then sorting out um, like my disk space. It was completely full. It was overflowing. And essentially, in order to give myself the relieve the pressure of my shoulders to like work, make it work right now, I needed to take a break to sort all of these things out. And <clears throat> I'm happy to say that I have uh, I have like a little consulting job. I will be doing that uh, from home, right? I don't have to go anywhere for that. And I have like this mini job and then I obviously have streaming and that should set us up for... Uh, set us up for to have enough financial security so that I don't have to worry about that at all. And I don't have to bother you guys with that. You know, I, I really appreciate you saw my video where I thank all of you guys that you have been so kind to support me, especially in the beginning of the year when all of my shit broke down in my computer. You guys have been there, you know, to support me. I love that. You are great. I really want to say thank you again. However, listen... I don't want my streams to be, oh shit, I can't buy shit. Oh shit, I have this problem. I want to do what I have been doing before. I program shit and then we play games. And that's that. And so I've been dealing with that, essentially. Hello, Diamond. Good morning. Hope you're doing good, bro. Consulting on PoE. <laughs> so yeah, that is essentially what I will be doing. Like not many hours a week, like four hours a week of consulting maybe and then uh, about eight hours a week of, you know, my mini job, aside from what I'm doing right now. Like, I have noticed now that this will give me the freedom to do whatever the fuck I want. And so I'm happy to announce that tomorrow... <laughs> We're gonna play Dark Souls 1. <laughs> because Elden Ring is gonna have a DLC soon. And I need to play all of the Dark Souls games before we can play Elden Ring DLC. And I've been waiting for that for such a long time and I never had the money or time to play it. And so tomorrow what I will do is I will do my normal programming for like about, skip Dark Souls 2, for about one to two hours. And then I will switch over to uh, one or two games. And I will just upload the raw footage of those games for those that miss the streams to YouTube. So for anyone that uh, I have two YouTube channels, Hello. one for gaming, one for uh, 
development and I want to do this daily and I will not stream every day I will most likely take the weekends off if it is too much in the beginning I have to ease into this I am targeting five days at the moment the weekdays and then in the on the weekends I will try to sort out all of this other shit my wife's been pregnant for a while now that's why uh, I was <laughs> it's so much shit to do bro it's the holy shit bro you know and so that's where I've been a lot as well you know it's not just uh, I've been dealing with work and stuff but yeah this stuff takes time and I need to make sure essentially set up so that I can continue stream it's all been <clears throat> married kids yep will you be streaming with the baby cake so we talked about this and I'm allowed to show like hand or the back of the head of the kid, but I'm not allowed to show like the face because she, uh, her idea is that a kid should be able to consent to being videotaped to the internet, which I agree. And so you will be, we will see it, right? When it's there, you will see it. But I'm, I will not show the face. And we are expecting a she, yeah, it's a she, yeah. we are expecting a girl, exactly. We already know what uh, gender it is. That's the right thing to do, I think so too. I would have loved to like uh, surprise you guys, but uh, since this is the second break that I take, you guys noticed I took two weeks break a couple of weeks ago, and I've been barely streaming, and then I take another week break. That's basically what's been going on. I've been I've been trying to just make things work because my wife has been insanely supportive, especially this year. It's crazy. Um, but we need to be able to survive, right? <laughs> and uh, in order to continue doing this, I'm going to go the primogen route, right? Where I have my main income from something else. And then I do this until we can do this full time. And so that means I will be streaming about four hours. Uh, four hours on the weekdays, and then I'll take the weekends to deal with jobs and YouTube. Uh, YouTube is a big part that I'm dealing with still. I've done a shit ton of YouTube work off stream. Still not done, but much better. <clears throat> Just get a 3,000 uh, year Netflix job. Yeah, I'm not that smart. Um, I could get a good job, but uh, no, I want to do it this way. I'm, I found a solution for myself. Everyone has like different things. So that's the idea, essentially. That is uh, what I've been dealing with. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, I'm sorry. I couldn't stream. I couldn't like. I couldn't just keep on streaming and then deal with this. Like sometimes you have to take a break from things to come back and uh, in order to continue right and so yeah i'm sorry that i haven't been streaming uh, but that's basically what has been going on uh, i would have loved to wait and surprise you guys would have been cooler but i think uh, now you know what's been going on and so yeah i'll be i'll be str uh, We'll start with, uh, let me see, is it actually, yeah, actually that's the game. We'll start with the game, you know, programming on the game. And uh, I thought about starting Dark Souls today, uh, but I need to set it up a bit and I just didn't have the time to set it up yet. So we will start Dark Souls tomorrow. For anyone that is interested, I will do streaming, I will be streaming Dark Souls daily. And I, I'm still wondering how I should do the PoE stuff. I'm gonna think about it. Hope you can juggle your schedule. Not easy, but possible. Yeah, not easy, but possible. Exactly. It is not that much work. Um, the hardest part is, for, uh, or was first and foremost, to have a stable income and security. That's like the, for any person on earth, right? That's the most important thing. You've got to have security first. And um, that needs to be there in order to like completely let loose on the streaming. Because I, I just love this. It's great. It's essentially it is uh, when everything works out, it's so easy. I love doing this and it's fun to me. You must release your game before the birth. Otherwise, it's done. It's done. Do you hear me? No, I will not do that. I want it's the same thing with my game. Like, why, why am I sitting here doing the game now? Because I just love doing this. It's 
it's very technical, but holy shit, I just like it. And so, let me see here. Put myself like that, something. <clears throat> Release in 2024. Mm. Anyways, let's do some programming. Let's see if I missed any any messages. Probably did little cakes. Congrats! Yes, I love me some cake stream. How did you know? Hello there, Vivian uh, Velour. Good morning and hello, free space, bro. Start with a guide for modern C plus plus. Not what you see here. Shut the fuck up, bitch! You're so so rude, man. This guy's so rude. What's wrong with you? Huh? You wanna see modern C++, bro? Let me show you. Dude. Here. Here you go. Take a look at this. Want it to be bigger? Wait, do I still have this? There you go. Take a look at this. And tell me, t guys, can any one of you read this? Who in chat can read and understand this? Tell me. Tuple. C++. This is the standard library of C++. I can. Yeah, of course. I believe you push. 100%. Let's do some programming. That's what I call a proper copium. When Cake says a baby, he can just give the mic to the baby and we get more useful blabbering. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I wrote it? Oh, of course, bro. Sure. 100%. Mm. I supervised him. Yeah, sure. Let me make this a little smaller here. Trying to make a good window. There we go. So the chat here is, I like that. Oops. <clears throat> and does the room, did someone say beer? Okay, let me see. There we go. Okay, so off stream, I've been dealing with a little bit of a uh, internal thing, um, but nothing much happened really. Like, I've just been doing some boring coding that uh, you guys wouldn't understand anyways, because it's too far fetched, right? Uh, I've been making abilities work a little better, but uh, uh, while I was doing that, I managed to bug this guy out. Yeah, I also managed to add in a circular collider. I can now I can now draw circuits if I want to. Yeah, this guy apparently does fire damage now for some reason. So I have to fix that. I don't know why. Because he doesn't have any fire damage. Not sure what that's going what's going on here. Not sure what that is about here. I guess we get rid of this. Cakes going to have a baby? Yes, Lars, I'm going to have a baby. Anyways, Cakes, big congrats on the baby. It's going to be a goddamn hardest thing you have done so far, but in the end, you'll like it. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it will be, yeah, 100%. Um, but I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. Like, my wife's happy as well. Very happy. And it, the, the coolest thing, you know, is how supportive she's she's been through all of this, right? I'm I'm just super happy that despite all of this, right, I'm still able to do this. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm still able to uh, keep working on my dream, right, which is awesome. And to make it clear, for those of you in Discord, assholes, that uh, want to tell me what to do and want to tell me how I should stream, I want to make games and play games, okay? And if that means I have less viewers, then whatever, okay? But that's what I want to do, okay? 
I'm gonna play the games that I like, and I'm gonna do the game development on stream that I like. Okay? No bathtub stream? No, 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 no. We could do another cooking stream in the future. Congrats, my bigger brother also got a baby boy. He's cool. Yeah, my brother got one too. Like, it's crazy. Like, her sister got a baby. My brother got a baby. And we're gonna have one. It's like all in the basically very close same age. Which is cool. Sigma. Make games and play games. I advise you to do at least one thing that you're good at. I guess I'll have to keep with uh, deep fakes then. <laughs> Good morning, right kill. My man, right kill? Long time no see, bro. We're gonna have a baby? Yeah. In two months, I think. It's about in, in about two, is it two months? Two, two and a half months or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I had to like, what do, what do the, I can't say the n-word, don't say the n-word, the black people when they rap, what do they say? I had to get my money straight for that. Are you gonna be, are you going, are you using Godot to make games or pure C++ game dev like a super chat? I use pure C++ game dev like a super chat. However, I'm currently working on, that's been, like guys, it's been... I have spent over 50 hours in Godot, guys. How do I know that? I have 14, re 14 recordings that are at least two hours long. Most of them are four, five hours long. 14 days for the latest tower defense, tower survivors game in Godot. You guys remember that game? Can you not, like, not press escape when I press alt? This one right here. You guys remember this game where I quit? <coughs> I forgot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of you guys remember this, right? I rage quit this game right here. It is a tower survivors game where you can spend money on upgrades. The upgrades re-roll every couple of seconds. You can see that at the bottom here. And then the tower automatically targets the closest units for that damage type. We have magic and fire damage. Uh, magic and physical damage. Your best game for sure? It's a good game. It's a good idea. And so I, I have been dealing with all of the recordings for that one, which was 14, 15 recordings. And uh, all of them at least two hours long, but most of them were four to five hours long. So take 14 and multiply that by 3. Let's see. 40 times 3. So that's 42 hours. If I save 3 hours per day. But it's more. So like literally only this game was 50 hours. And then we made 2 other games in Godot. So I have about 100 hours in Godot at this point. Yeah. I do remember your rage quitting. Yeah, I take I took a look at this and uh, I still stand by. Like I, I Godot is great, but it needs some more time. Forty two is the answer in life. True, true. Okay, so we need to figure out why this guy all of a sudden is dealing fire damage with his basic attack. He shouldn't do that. I don't know why he's doing this much damage. I don't know what it is. What is it? You could download Godot in a stream to see how many hours you spend here. There. Oh, yeah, but sometimes you leave things open. So it's not accurate. Steam, yeah, no, 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 it's not accurate. You know, like, have you ever left open certain things on your computer? Like, let's say you play a game, right? You leave it open while you make food or go out. <coughs> <coughs> Looks like Asmon Gold. Watch of, ti of Tiny Window. Yeah, Sunket Brush. What do you mean? Looks like Asmon Gold. Watch of Tiny Window. 
Oh man, this is great. Mm. And so yeah, guys. Uh, by the way, one last thing. Leaving PoE open for trades back in the day. Yeah, hey, uh, Dev Girl, thank you very much for following. Hello, girl. Oh, Giri. Oh, I see. Fuck. Okay, it's gonna be a guy. Um, I'm going to be playing Dark Souls 1 tomorrow. And I'm going to be doing the... I think it's called the Wheel of Pain. So every time I die, I have to change how I behave or how I play. So, for example, one uh, negative when I die would be I die and then I have to invert my controls. So left is right, right is left, up is down and down is up, right? Something like that. That would be fucking annoying, hopefully. Uh, and so I'm looking for some more punishments for when I die. And then we can put them into a wheel on the internet and spin the wheel. Right, so, so every time I die, I get a different debuff. That's the idea. So if you guys have any suggestions, put them on Discord and uh, let me know. I'm going to find out some myself, but would be cool to have more than, I guess, five or two, right? All right, let's see. Why are you doing fire damage? There's going to be a reason for that, right? Eating a random plate of food made by your girlfriend... But that's not a downside. That's like, I like eating, bro. <laughs> I like eating. Maybe I'm thinking maybe it's this. Wait, is this still? No. Maybe it's this ability and it has some damage to it. How are you doing 150 damage when I turn this? Wait a minute, I think maybe these... Maybe I need to delete the file here. Let me see. I think what's happening is... Huh? I have a file for the skill tree of these units. And in that file, I uh, basically keep track of the different nodes. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Man. <coughs> Let's see. He shouldn't be dealing fire damage. Please stop. Please don't deal fire damage now. Eh? How's this guy doing fire damage? He should be doing fire damage. He doesn't have any damage associated with him. He gets physical 25. He's doing 25 physical damage. Mm, and this could go away. Attack radius 100. Oh, yeah, I see. I had this to 100. It's got to be 28. So, for anyone that's wondering what we're doing now, I'm working on my very first five minutes of fun in the game so that whenever I have the five minutes, we can extend from this five minutes of fun to 10, 30 minutes. And when I get close to my first level being fun for about 30 minutes, I'm going to upload that version to Steam. And then you guys, if you want, can play. Okay? Yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna give myself any armor on this guy. Attack speed. Mm, I guess he doesn't need movement speed, but okay. Okay, let's see. I mean there's got to be attack function. I wonder why. Could you be overwriting that in some other place? Well, we'll see. Maybe it is, yeah. Let's see. So we get stats here. 
Oh, I keep taking that down. Uh, stats. And then we add stats dot values on stat fire damage. Okay, so I, it gives me a base of 130 fire damage. I wonder where that comes from. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. I'm a guy, Devgiri. Yeah, yeah, I was assuming that. <laughs> I have some recommendations for you. Inverted screen, screen upside down, blindfolded, electroshocking yourself for each death for one minute, listening to an annoying music for one minute while playing. The inverted screen. How, uh, how can you do that? Is there a way to do this? Is there a mod for that? First ever Dark Souls inverted screen run. How do you how do you do this? Upside down Dark Souls part one. World first. Uh, camera control suddenly inverted. How do you do that? Mirror mod? Mirror mode mod? I don't know, but maybe. I'm gonna write this down. That's just some cool idea, bro. Let me see. Um, what is in this? Actually, I should write this down actually on something that is a little bit more sturdy. You have to, you have to do it in the monitor settings. Oh, I do? Really? But it looks like there is mods for that. But this is already one cool thing. So inverted screen. Inverted screen. <coughs> um, what else? What you, did you say? Uh, screen upside down. Blindfolded. I'm gonna think about blindfolded. <laughs> I mean, we can do the uh, Queen Pawns a lot, right? She managed to do a blindfolded run. Have you guys? Have you guys figured out? Or have you guys seen Queen Pawns a lot? Uh, blindfolded run. Monster Hunter. Have you guys found out? Uh, how she cheated. I know now. Okay, that's a cool idea, man. Thank you. <coughs> okay, let's see. No, how? She had a third monitor. <laughs> it was that simple. She could look through the blindfold because if you let it loose, you can see through it here. I don't understand why you would pay money for a blindfold and then you can wear it very loosely and you can still see through it. Isn't the job of a blindfold to not see through here? And that is supposed to be a pro excuse me, professional blindfold? <gasps> yeah, so essentially she could look through here and then was it there was a third monitor to that to the side. And everyone was just assuming she only had two monitors. <laughs> That's why was, she was also sitting like this so weirdly. Normally, but not everyone has the same nose size. Yeah, but why don't they just make it so that... I guess you can't... Verstopfen die Nase? How do you say that? Gotcha, you can't put it over your nose. Oh, certified Pope, my man. Welcome back, bro. I think you've been a follower before. I appreciate the follow, bro. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Attack. So we get r the wrong stats already. Which is odd. Attack happens here. It's a projectile. Wait a minute. Maybe it happens here actually. Or maybe it happens here. Oh, 
All right, let's take a look at the fire damage. Oh yeah, he already has fire damage here. Hmm. Eh? If can he will be placed? Let's see. Uh, there's gotta be more to this here. There we go, spawn hero is gonna be the one. Oops. Can you write parallel code that runs on multiple cores? Yes, I can. You just have to open up a thread. It's actually not that difficult. You, you can either do a C++ thread where it's just literally just this. You wouldn't want to do it in this function, but I have to do it in this function. Uh, actually, you would do it like this. Let's say we have... Which function is up here? Apply freeze chance, right? Uh, you would do in another function, you would start like in the main function or something that doesn't run in a loop. You would do std, std thread. I don't remember how exactly that was, but maybe you have to put the thing here. Like this, and then you have to do some thread. I don't remember, but essentially... Essentially, this is how it works. Like, I don't know exactly how std does it. Right? But essentially, you uh, when you start... Or, or is it... Maybe it's a start. I don't know. But that's essentially how you do... Uh, parallel stuff in C++. I don't use it in my game currently because I don't have a use for that. But uh, that is essentially how you would do it. And then how does this work? Well, this thread continuously calls this function over and over and over again. How many, However many times it can. You can then also in the function apply a strategic sleep if you want to right of 10 milliseconds 100 milliseconds a thousand depends so maybe you don't want to call it you don't want to hammer on it right but that's essentially how it works it's very simple actually and you can do the same thing in c++ without the standard library you can a windows thread is also happening the same way but std thread just allows you to have it cross-platform <coughs> Wait, actually, how do we say Verstopfen in English? Dude, I don't know, but uh, we can Google. Clogged? Oh, it's clogged. It's called col uh, clogged. Uh, fixable. How do you copy drawings in A-Sprite? Control C. Uh, control C, bro. Ever heard about that? Okay, we're going to spawn this hero. And then it will show us... Shit. Did I put it on the wrong line? Are you German? Thanks. Yes, I am German. The tricky, tricky part is then, how do you organize what's being processed in the threads? But a simple job system would already be useful. Yeah, so the, the obviously the biggest problem about threads is concurrency, of course, yeah. Uh, multiple things accessing the same data, right? That is definitely a huge problem. So, for example, if you want to load a texture, and then that texture has to be uploaded to the GPU, right? You have to somehow manage that if the GPU or if the renderer is using the texture too, right? There are ways to do it, but and Vulkan has specific queues for that, upload queues. But yeah. Okay, let's see. It should give me here the spawn hero function. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. It is gotta be this function here. I changed that. 
Let's take a look. Right now we don't have any fire damage and then we initialize a hero of type and we have 130. So it comes from here. This function is doing it. <coughs> okay, so it's definitely not this init here. But it's gonna be one of those. Let's take a look. Alright, let's see. Copy this, add the, instead of the hero data, we just do hero. Okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah, Re init to stat value, okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Copy. Paste. What about base? Aha, uh -huh, okay. So reset stats shouldn't do anything. Yeah, apply items. Could it be in apply items? I don't have any items. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still like I've uh, I've con how do you say that? Not attracted. Catched? I catched I catch the cold last week. I feel like looking at Chinese characters. Really, bro? Tower defense. Yes, we're sanity on YouTube. Yes, sir. Oh! Let's go. I gotta be careful. <laughs> exactly that is bad to do. Uh, I don't see anything going on here. Huh? So, where is this coming from? Uh, now, I'm assuming that this apply items also works. Yeah, okay, apply meta progression. Yeah, so it's here. Aha. It's this little function where, okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's gotta be one of the nodes that has stats, but hey, I don't have a simple stat node. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hey, I'm confused now. Huh? What the huh? What what is going on? This looks like I'm writing oh, into spicy. the stats. <laughs> yeah, I want my points back. Yeah, I'm sorry, I cannot use uh, the Giga Chat on the Snap camera at the moment. I have to go. Wish you good luck on the stream. Thank you, man. Wish you a nice stream. Thank you, sir. I have zero knowledge of coding. I wish I knew how to code. Why don't you start coding? How did you get here then, bro? Mr. Jekoro. Jekko. How did you get to the stream? Thank you very much for following, bro. Uh, Nazgu. Uh, how? Like these values look like I'm accidentally writing into stats. You see this, guys? Or is it because I should do hero? Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Then where does it come from? I, I just don't understand. I 
don't understand. So confused. I don't understand where this comes from. Also, when I spawn the unit, eh? everything okay? All of a sudden, his attack range is bigger. You see that? Mr. Streamer, hello. Smiley face, hello there. Good morning, man. Start coding, hello world, calculator. I want to learn like the like matrix. Inject my brain the knowledge. Ah, you're just, oh, I see. I see, bro. You're just lazy. I see, aha. <laughs> That's not how it works, you know? <clears throat> Gotta invest some time, brother. Yeah, guys, I have absolutely no idea where in my code this happens. And this is so weird because it should happen. I don't understand. Absolutely no idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. It's gonna be this. 100%. Let's go to update hero. Boom. Watch. It's gonna work. How do you have this, bro? Hey. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Okay, we got it. This time we got it. 100%. Any clowns other than cakes? Yeah, because I'm not a clown. My man, Teacup. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing, bro? How's your uh, PoE journey coming along? I follow some tutorials to learn C Sharp. I did exactly the same thing as the tutorials and the code worked, but I had no idea why it works and how it works. After that, I closed the pro tutorial. I couldn't code a single line. And Mr. Jekyll, I have just the thing for you, bro. I have just the thing for you. Have you... Um, thank you very much for following, by the way. Have you done a tutorial on YouTube that explains the very basics of coding to you? Like... You follow a tutorial from basically absolute beginner and then they tell you, okay, this is a string, this is a function, this is how you invoke the function, this is how you declare a variable, this is what a variable is. Have you done that? Because if you start in the middle of the journey of programming, you will fail because you don't have the previous knowledge. You need to know what a variable is in order to use one so i suggest you do a tutorial that is for absolute beginners i have been coding for about like i don't know on and off in my university for like how long is university three years for three years and then i worked for one year uh, doing some coding and after that even after that i wanted to learn C++ or this one. This is what I'm writing here, right? I wanted to learn this language, which is close to C Sharp. At least how you write it. And I still use the tutorial that was for complete beginners. So I would suggest you the same. Like start at the very beginning because you can't skip that. You can't expect to know uh, something. Yeah, that's not how it works. Blabbering? Shut the fuck up. E, there's so many E. Ooh. It's full of. Ugh. Sorry. Okay. So. Uh, how? 
How? Got any suggestions on text rendering, like a serious one? Yeah. Uh, do this. It should work f for, let's say, 90% of what you need. You can even do outlines. Now, I don't have a tutorial for any of this, but I have like a stream a stream where I implement this, but uh, do TTF font rendering and I can, if you want to do C++, TTF font rendering and I would suggest you, where is it, third party? I would suggest you free type. Make free type work for you. Oops. Um, I use free type I don't remember how I got it. It's been a while. This one can go away. We don't need that anymore. Brackies is more Unity specific, right? You can do Brackies coding or Brackies examples uh, whenever you learned how to code in C Sharp. You need to load, learn how to code in C Sharp first. I would do a simple C Sharp tutorial first before I watch any of Brackies stuff. Because you need to know the, lang the language first. You need to know the basics. And then you can go into uni Unity specific coding. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let me just check really quickly. Where is that? He already has this, but okay. Let's go into Spawn Hero because... What's going on here? Uh, click on spawn hero. Oh, like, guys, how do I fix this bug? I want to go into the spawn hero function. Okay, I guess control W works. All right. It seems like there's something off with the editor, but okay. Listen, listen, like something is off with the editor. It should, the breakpoint should be on this line. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm most likely going to be playing Path of Exile today as well. Uh, because I still want to continue the Path of Exile journey. I have a hardcore character that is level 70 at the moment. And I've been farming off stream uh, to get this stupid gem. A stupid skill gem. Only to realize that this skill gem I can't even use. I can't use it just the same way I can't use Elemental Hit. So I, I'm completely fucked. <laughs> Dude. All right. Now, please work. Remember when Cakes used to get to maps at PoE, he really fell off? <laughs> Shut up. Fuck you. So it is happening here. Dude, it is ha guys. What is going on with Visual Studio Code? It doesn't go to the to the lines anymore. You see that? I just uh, I do control like, I do control click on the function. I <laughs> okay. It works now. Of course, it works now. Mm -hmm. Okay, relax. Uh, we have to do it again. Sorry about that. One more time. Why can't you use Elemental It? I will be using Elemental It for now. Yeah, I will. I will stick with it. But I now have a. <laughs> I have Wild Strike, the other version. The reason why I can't use Wild Strike is because it requires life, mana, and energy shield to use. I need all of these. To just do one attack of Wild Strike. And Elemental Hit it's is bow or wand only. Exactly. So I can only use the base version of Elemental Hit. <laughs> Ow! So <laughs> I got totally fucked. I didn't know that it was bow or wand only. 
Because elemental hit worked with weapons, with melee weapons. I just... Uh, equip a bow and make your build better? I don't have any currency for that, bro. I would need to make a new character. Oh, excuse me. A new character. But I... Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. All right. It's time. We are going to find out where in this function it happens. No, absolutely not. You already have that. Oh, this is really... Uh, absolutely not. No. Init entity. What does that... What does init, init entity do? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Hero Ranger. Mm -hmm. Let, let's see. We have zero fire damage because that's what we should have. Mm-hmm. We go here, then we reset the stats, yeah, we apply items, we apply meta progression, and then when we apply the skill tree, this is when something changes or breaks. Dude, like it's really annoying that this doesn't go in here, come on. Let's see, apply skill tree. It is one of the nodes... But the, it's not allocated. We don't have a root node. But actually, there's two allocated nodes? Okay. Ah, maybe the base skill tree. Wait a minute. Yeah, it is going... It's probably one node on the skill tree. You can surely just craft a bow with the mechanic. <coughs> You didn't research as you never, ever do? I did. I just didn't read. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Come on, let's fix this bug. I really want to get over with this. A bad workman always blames the tools. Ah, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Sure. Come on, let's see. Uh, there is, uh, I think it's called init skill trees, yeah. Is it not? Skill trees. Load skill trees. Okay, it's called load skill trees. Um, load skill trees. Let's check that. Um, if the file exists, we load it. If not, we don't do anything. So, uh, I have the file here, though. Uh, I deleted that file. There is no file here. Hey. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Like, huh? What is going on, bro? Can you stop? Skyrim's Bennett Mayer OST fits perfectly. I just love this. Like, I, I, I really, I do. It's so relaxing to code with. I know it's the same songs if you listen to this for a while, but I just can listen to this for, I don't know, forever. Love that. All right, so does the file exist? No, it doesn't. What is it doing here? Update the spawns, okay. But then it shouldn't do anything to the skill trees, right? Let me see. Uh, keystone old. Read file, skill tree old. Write file, skill, skill trees backup file. Mem copy into the skill tree bundle. Oh, okay. It's just nothing. Uh, static, aesthetics are initialized to zero, right? So I shouldn't have any skill tree. Why do you have a skill tree? Ah, I see. I see what's going on. He does have a saved skill tree on the unit. I need to update all of the units with their respective skill trees. If I change the file, they should always have a reflection of the file. If the file changes. 
Hmm, okay, I'm thinking about it, but I guess we'll just save it like that. And now he shouldn't do any damage anymore. But there's still the question of... Hmm? Why does he have more attack range after being placed? That makes no sense. At least he does the damage correctly. I don't know how I introduced all of these errors. It's a bit annoying. But yeah, I guess it's an uh, initialization issue with stats. Hero bar. It's gotta be here somewhere. Can hero be placed if it's clicked? Mm hmm. Draw tech range indicator. This is when it's happening. Mm -hmm. Hero data. Hmm. Get a tech range. Does hero data not get initialized correctly? Let's see here. It's probably a floating point error that it can't wait. 18,000 lines. No wonder VS Code is not working accurately. You're telling me. You are t trying to tell me that because my file is... How many lines of code do I have? Let's see. My file is 19,000 lines of code long. You're trying to tell me that... Listen. Visual Studio Code can't deal with this. It can't jump to the correct place because the uh, the lines are too long there's too many lines in the file a mere 19000 lines come on vs code can't handle how stupid these lines are a skill issue ah okay yeah sure it's a floating point error that can't jump to the correct place ah i see mhm mm very interesting thought, you guys. Mm -hmm. I have to say. You know what Visual Studio Code would, should fix, in my opinion? They should fix the scrolling issue. It's abysmally bad. I cannot scroll. Do you guys have the same issue? I can't scroll. Like, it's always leggy. It feels leggy. I, maybe you can't see it, but it's not as smooth. Like, it feels like my scroll wheel is broken. So, like, I should be getting the range correctly here. I don't understand. Smooth? Yeah, smooth with double U. Oh. I mean, I was just kidding, but 18,000 lines. Listen, bro, this is already much better than what I had before. I had, like, 26,000 lines before. I already cleaned up. Using mouse skill issue once again. Ah, I see. Okay, aha. On Linux, I never had that Visual Studio Code scroll issue. So, like, listen, guys. You know what's so funny? I made the video about Zig, right? And I think in Odin, too. And the people on YouTube literally wrote so many times, Ah, that's because you're using Windows. And in my head, I'm, like, thinking, is this the typical Linux user that has to tell everyone they're using Linux? And Windows is the root of all evil. Because mostly everyone is using Windows in uh, for whatever application you are programming. Everyone is using Lin Windows. No one is using Linux. Okay, so especially if you're making games, you make them for Windows, not Linux. So <laughs> if these programming languages don't work on Windows, that is a big problem. Okay. Like a, <laughs> the vegans of programming, yeah. <laughs> Average Arch Linux user, yeah, exactly. 100%. Oh, man. But didn't you just do the same? Romeo, on Linux, I never had that VS Code scroll issue. Didn't you just do the same, brother? Huh? I mean, when I take a look at this here. This looks like uh, someone outing themselves as a Linux user. Yeah? <laughs> oh man, okay. 
No, what I mean is maybe use three to four files at least. Why would you put everything in a single file? Because if I make a new game, I only have to delete this file and create this again. Boom. Also, I don't see a reason to have multiple files. Why would I have a file for skill trees? I don't understand. I, it is just a function. I just call do skill trees. Like it doesn't, it's also, it's easier for me to search in one file than to search in five different files. Function wise, comment wise, stuff like that. Mm, I don't understand. Really, I just simply do not. I want to test something. I want to see something really quickly. Okay. Ah, shit. No, it doesn't work. <clears throat> God damn it. I don't know what's Am I so out of going touch? on here. No. Secret underscore Google underscore spy just subscribe. My man. Big tick support for three years. Hi, I had another question. Do you batch your draws? Or each entity is separate draw call? Yes, I do batch them. So what I do is I have opaque objects in the game. They all write, if you understand what that means, they all write to the dev buffer. And so I just batch all of these as draw calls for quads together. And then I do an instanced draw call for those. So for example, that would include the background and the trees and uh, some of the heroes or all of the heroes, I think. That is like, I think, 500 draws in one draw call. And then after that, I have transparency or transparent quads. Those are sorted first and then drawn in another instance draw call as well. And then I have additive, inst additive blending transparency. Those are sorted as well and then drawn on top of the other transparency. Uh, transparent quads meaning i have like three draw calls essentially for the game and i don't need to be perfect with sorting the additive blending and normal blending quads simply because it doesn't really matter in a 2d game it does a little bit but not much so i'm just putting them i draw the normal ones and then the additive on top yeah i mean that's how i do like i could take i could show you how it looks Looks like this. Um, let me find it really quickly. Essentially what I have is this. Obviously I draw more, but uh, that is mostly the game. Let me find that. Oh yeah, this is uh, just hot reloading. I hate the I hate scrolling with the mouse. It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, so essentially this is opaque transforms and I call uh, I call the draw arrays instance function using all of the opaque transforms and these opaque transforms are literally they they look like this I have a maximum of 2000 quads I could do more if I want to and that's essentially what I have a position a size um, where in the atlas it is what type of color some options um, which can be used to determine whether I want to flip it, right? X and Y coordinates, uh, you know, to make it look in different directions. The layer is important for sorting and depth buffer. Angle is for rotation. And then clip rect is, do I want to cut off at a certain point? Yeah, essentially that's it. So yeah, that's that's essentially it. And I don't know if I need this operator actually. Not sure why I have this here, but yeah. No one asked cakes? Secret Google Spy asked. And he supported me with his Twitch primers. Actually with his normal sub. Okay? Normal sub. Okay? He paid to win. 
So I gotta, you know, give him that pay to win. Hmm? Fuck you, bitch. Oops. Wrong button. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know how to debug this problem because I don't know where it stems from. Yeah, I didn't manage to fix this. Essentially, the attack range gets bigger after the hero is placed. See that? Keep it up, cake. Celerate side, my man. Yeah. Mmm. Get range, hero. Uh, no ability. Float range. We're going to code in uh, just numbers. And then uh, draw format UI text. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm still dealing with this stupid cold. It's I'm allergic to pollen. And right now, they're all flying. And so I have had issues with my eyes, my nose, been hatching a lot. And with uh, my throat, it's very sore. It's better, but holy shit, same here. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. Yeah, it just kicked in for me too. Yeah, it's about, it's around this time. Yeah, that this happens. All right. Now, and I also want to do the following. We do this, oh, whoops, we do this here, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we do this in can hero be placed. All right. I think here. Oh, I'm sorry. Holy shit. God, that was deep. And by the way, guys, uh, I have reached my highest weight of all time a couple of days ago. I think I'm down now, but I was at 97 kilograms. But that included clothes, right? So, like two kilograms less or something. Fat fuck. Yeah, man. Holy shit. I was, I, I was like, dude. And I noticed it, you know, when playing soccer. Holy shit, bro. Is it here? Wait a minute. Yeah. Never been that big. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wish I was down to 97 kilograms. <laughs> What's your height? I'm 190 centimeters. I don't know what that is in English terms or in, in the shitty uh, metric system. But in the good metric system, I'm 190. So it's not that bad, but still tall. Yeah, I'm quite tall. B Gates, hello there, just lime guy. It's, it's going good, bro. How are you doing? Imperial system. Uh, it's called the imperial or the superior system, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The superior system says, which sucks. Wait, is the imperial system the America system? Freedom units? The inferior system. Ah, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay, okay. I see. So the the imperial system is the inferior system of the America land. The caveman system. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the dumb. Yeah, I don't understand how you can measure something in feet because everyone has different sizes. 
and how I don't know what an ounce is. Like, how can you like say an ounce when you can literally have a perfect system that is dividable by ten and multiplicative by ten? It scales perfectly, but a hey. America is not known for their brain power, right? So, who am I to judge? Mm, let's see. I think it's here. I would assume it's here. So what I'm trying to do is give me the exact number of the range. I don't know uh, if I'm changing the position though. Where is this? Here. No, it's here. Okay, wait. Need to get rid of this here then. Put it down there. So essentially when I'm dragging the unit, I want to know what range it has in numbers. In numbers work a lot better than... Oh god, I'm a fucking dumbass. I just moved it 30 pixels. Th no! Stop them, please! 60 pixels to the left, 60 tabs to the... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I, I hate that, man. Like Vim and... What you have to do is you... Select this and then you press these... These arrow keys here, like... These. This button right here. It's not tab. It's this button right here. And whether you press shift or not shift. Also... <laughs> it's like, and then you can say how many, right? You can say two. You press the button two, and then you say this, boom, right, that button, and then it indents it two to the right. It's really, really annoying to use. Goodness. I was 107 kilograms after my father died. I went down to 79. Oh, you'd stopped eating Omega Destroyer? Stopped eating, but that's good. I was a fat cell. Yeah, yeah, I mean, when you stop eating, you essentially stop gaining weight and you lose weight, actually. You were fasting, yeah. I mean, if you... Listen, like, this might be an unpopular opinion, and you know people hate me when I talk about food, but uh, not eating for a while, aka fasting, is good. There is a reason why religion uh, has these... Uh, periods in which they are fasting, right? And if you do it right, you actually lose a lot of weight. It's called intermittent fasting. In some religions, it's what they do for religion. I think Ramadan was recently, or is at least the father of my wife was fasting. And then he would, like, he would pray and then eat in the evening. So they, they had that recently. There was actually a YouTube stream, which was really funny, of all of those, I think, Muslims running in a circle around some, like, I don't know, quad in the middle. I don't know what was in the middle, but they were all running in a circle around there. Had um, had 200 viewers. <laughs> so, quite funny. They were watching that. Mecca? Is it called Mecca? <clears throat> the biggest development I made in my game, le in my game dev was to feel good while making UI, because shitty UI also works. If it gets the job done. Yeah, like shitty UI works if it gets the game done, 100%. So this guy has a range of 66. And this doesn't show me the range, actually. Alright, let's see. Okay, wait. See, it has 42 compared to 66. Hmm. But none of this is correct, I think. Ranger should have... Should have an attack radius of 28. 28 is not 42. Oh, I see. It takes the weapon into account. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
Cakes, did you watch any of Fallout? No, no, I like, listen. I saw a clip of Asmongold where someone basically edited the ass of the woman to have really nice butt cheeks and very tight pants. And a bunch of people on Twitter were angry about that. Uh, yeah, I saw that, which was really funny. Did you make the UI yourself? Yeah, I did. Everything you see in the game, I made myself. I didn't buy or... Yeah. Steal anything. It's all done by me. And chat, tell, chat helped me with coding. Well, this one was made by a viewer, by Nynx. She uh, draw, drew this uh, as like a sketch. And I uh, took it and made it a bit smaller because it was too big for the game. But yeah, mostly uh, all of it is done by me. Yo, what's get up? Hello there, Seuss Dukes. And I missed the very first message. Coding rule, my man. Hello, Sir Cakes. Hello there, my man. Good morning. <laughs> How you doing? What you doing? What you selling? <laughs> what you buying? It should be 28. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And it takes the weapon into account. Mm, if it doesn't have an ability, nothing should be included in there. And then it gets the weapon. Maybe the weapon changes. Here we get a default bow item. Okay. If I click this. We still have the default bow item. Mm -hmm. Is this being called whenever... Why is this still being called? It shouldn't be... Should it? Get range. Update hero range. Oh, I see. I call it myself. I'm a fucking <laughs> Does Cakes play Resident Evil 4? We are going to be playing Dark Souls 1 tomorrow. Um, I plan on playing single player games. Hopefully daily. Uh, for about one, one and a half hours each day. So we will do our coding and then play single player games daily. Hey there, Cakes. Which LSP are you using for C++ in VS Code? Uh, I think it's called Clang GD. This one right here. And then uh, together with this, I use a file called Clang GD. Dot Clang GD. And then I give it compiler flags. And that's it. I don't use the Microsoft LSP. Because the Microsoft LSP for C++ is very laggy. And uh, how do you say that? Inconsistent. Can you code a notepad? Yeah, I can, but why? I can also code on a paper, but why? You know, I just write code with my... Like with this. But I don't see a reason to do that. Did you SFML or SDL2 uh, use? Uh, no, I don't use SFML or SDL2. I just use OpenGL directly. However, um, I have an idea. And once I have done my video about Godot, where we do the Tower Survivors game, this game right here. What do you guys think? I know, I now know this took me 50 hours to do. I'll show you really quickly. What do you guys think? We rebuilt this in C++ using modern, not modern C++. I don't like modern C++, okay? Like, listen, I just don't like that at all. But what do you guys think? How about we rebuild this in C++ or in J? Not sure which one yet. Using a rendering library. Or OpenGL directly. The reason why I don't want to use a rendering library is because I don't know how to do shaders in it. Right? I don't know how to do point lights. Very specific rendering frame buffers. You need all of that for that, you know. And I know how to do it in OpenGL. It's basically already there. 
If I do Raylip, for example, I have to learn how to do a shader in Raylip. But I would love to do this in C++ and see how long it takes. I'm assuming, since I already know what to do, this would take me 10 hours at most. Like, a fifth of the time it took me in Godot. Pretty sure. That's what I'm assuming. 120 hours minimal. <laughs> okay, bro. Hello, Aizen. What is this? You are hiding behind a wall? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. 120 hours. You're, you're so wrong. Maybe we should do a bet. All right. Where is the range coming from, man? Wait. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there we go. 42. 42. So in this function update hero, somewhere in the code, something happens. I wonder which one it is. Maybe this? Ten hours, half of what you would spend on raging alone. Listen, like... Explain to me VMT, okay, Mr. MP3 guy, that is never going to happen in any shape or form ever in the near vicinity ever, because MP3 is just so... Okay, bro, explain to me why I would rage at my lovely C++ code. Give me a reason. Hmm? Hmm? Like, I'm not using CMake. Sad. <laughs> oh, I made him really sad, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, after going through this once, we are at 66 range. So I have to figure out where that comes from. It's a bit annoying, but okay. It happens. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a bit annoying, but this is how we can figure out what is going wrong. It happens here somewhere. Huh. Very interesting. Maybe here? What is an LSP? It's a language server penis. I don't know what P stands for. Language server means you connect to a server on the internet and ask that server. I think it's on the internet or it's on your local computer, but it's essentially just a program you ask, well, is this code working or not? And then the server says, no, protocol, it's a protocol. Yeah, but, but where, it, who is telling me that it works or not? Pussy not penis is local. Yeah, I'm assuming it's local because you should be able to do this uh, locally when you don't have internet, right? You are able to code like that. It's still 42 here. Okay. Is it an animate enemy entity? So odd. Can I shout out my Discord server? I guess, I yeah. Be. Sure.
Did you remove the town thingy? No, I still have the town. Uh, however, the town is quite empty at the moment. I'm still working on that. I just click off your channel to watch a video and you're wearing the same outfit XD. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't have that many clothes, you know. <laughs> so, that's gonna, you know. I learned, however, though, that I should be wearing white instead of black. I'm not a black wearer wearing person because my face gets too white when I wear black. So it's gotta be in one of these. But this is just drawing. What the fuck? Maybe here? Are you racist, bro? No. How am I racist? It's gotta be draw entity, 100%. I think I changed that function. Huh. Huh. It's this. It's this line. It's this line. Very interesting. It's happening here. 62 range. Yeah, 66. Huh. But then how do we get 142? I'm so confused here. Attack radius, okay. Let's see. Range increase, okay. Weapon distance. Ah, there is the 14. Well, guys, what is 14 plus 28? 42, right? Is this 42? Yeah. Let's see. Any links, references on the different coordinate systems in the graphics pipeline? Am I so out of touch? Hmm. Did I miss no, the five minutes Ashton of fun? Hobbs just subscribe. <laughs> no, Big I'm still working on it. I'm currently years. actually like, figuring out a stupid bug. No, my man. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And I should wait for the message, actually. <laughs> I realized the same thing about wearing black, so dark blue at most. Yeah, it's... You know how I know this? Actually, do you know how I know this? There was a... There's a woman on the internet that says some dumb shit about... Uh, like some stupid shit, essentially. And then there was a person making a video about that woman and saying that how she's stupid she is, right? Basically... I, drama bullshit and then that woman went out to get because she really, really wanted to find a husband and I, I guess this woman is also giving like husband advice or like um, mating advice which you should never take from someone that doesn't have a relationship going for them because then you know like if they can't hold someone but that's beside the point and the reactor to this was a woman too and she Anyways, long story short, this one woman went out to get some clothes and she hired a stylist for her. And that stylist chose some stupid colors for her. And then the other woman was basically stating that how what you wear can give you... Uh, what color you wear has to contrast or match 
your skin tone in a way that you don't either look too pale or too red or too green. So essentially, let's say you are very white and you wear black, then it contrasts so much that you look more white. And I have a I have an example for you. Like I could show you what that means. I've, I've seen that. Holy shit, blaring. No, it works, really. No, no, really. Actually, that's 100%. And uh, now, like, listen, I usually don't care about this, but holy shit, that was so bad. Uh, was it this one? The person is too saturated. What is this? Yeah, you see how, how like, I'm very white person, especially during the winter. And, like, your face just gets, it's like a glowing rod in the black background of your clothes. Stuff like that. And uh, I noticed that. It's actually some really five-head advice she gave. Like, if you want to look a little bit better, you know, and you are uh, conscious about it, then uh, you can choose different colored clothes that match your face. I noticed green fits very well, for example. Weapon sprite size, maybe that's how drawing effects, that's how it's drawing the effects range. Yeah, so essentially, I don't have the weapon sprite equipped uh, when I'm initializing my unit. Here. I'm initiali initializing my unit here. And I guess... Apply items should do it. Actually. Let me think. I think what we should do is this. Maybe. The sprite for the weapon should be the default one. Right? And then further down below, when I apply items, essentially you can add items to your characters in the game. As I... Where is this? Items. Armor. Shield. How much? Where's the weapons? Ah, here. If I get a weapon... Uh, how is it choosing that? Let me see. <clears throat> Where is this? This... I see. I think this should happen in apply items. This piece of code, it has to do with weapons. This should happen here in this function, at the very end. Or after we chose the weapons. Any JStream coming soon, by the way? Yeah, it's a question, guys. Um, this game right here. Should I, should I try to make this game in J? Using pure OpenGL? Or should we do it in C++? Because, like, I had a cool idea from a viewer that I would like to realize. Odin, I have made this game in Godot, right? And it took me 50 hours to make. He told me, why not make the same game in different languages and try to compare the process? And so we could make this game in different, in different languages and then see which one uh, works the best. 
Comparing, comparison of doing it in Odin versus J. Yeah, something like that. Your time is even more limited than money. Yeah, but um, at this point, real super cool, I just wanna... Like, I have figured out how I can survive now. Now I just wanna have fun. Um, I'm still gonna make my game, but I still wanna do this type of stuff because I think it's fun to do. I don't always wanna do the same... Like, if I have something boring to code, I'm not gonna stream that. I'm just gonna code... Like, what I'm doing right now, the coding I'm doing right now, I should have done off-stream. I just didn't manage to do it. And I didn't want to take another day off. So, I will have days where I stream my game. But I will also have days where I do this. Simply because it's just more fun for you guys. That's it. And if I have something to code, I'm just gonna do it like pirate software. I'm gonna code it off-stream. Some real coding... A direct X arc is missing still as well. We need to do a direct X arc. I mean, I guess. Sold your kidney? No, I just have two side jobs now. I got myself two side jobs. One mini job and one... Uh, what is it called? Uh, one normal like consulting job, more or less, where I write down how long i worked and then it basically counts to my like when you when you do streaming stuff you have to do a business and i'm just gonna write it there <clears throat> do we have a say on this sounds like you already decided decided on what <clears throat> this uh, say in what uh, para, uh parado a say in what I, I don't know like maybe you have yeah Uh, wait. Here. Streaming your game. Yeah, I will keep on streaming my game. But essentially what I'm doing right now... Uh, Parado, tell me, what am I doing right now? What am I doing right now? What is the context of my coding? What's the mini job? The mini job is writing PowerShell scripts. And I can't say more. It's, uh, data protection. I don't know how don't know how you say that in English, but in German it's like data protection. Uh, pro protection. Datenschutz. Official banana eater at Rewe. PowerShell? No, actually, really cool. Uh, I've learned some cool stuff already. You know. What are you doing? You're not writing Rust. It's not safe. <laughs> Oh God. No, I mean, you're saying I I should stop streaming my game and do some fun stuff because I it's more fun to you. No, listen, what I'm doing right now uh, is very technical and I'd rather do this stuff off stream where I can just 100% focus on this, get it done. And then we do some more interesting stuff like add in a new ability or balance an ability where you can see some more of the game, right? Some more of this right here. That's what I mean. I'm still going to stream developing my game. Because I just like doing that. Um, just more interesting pit bits of that. Uh, you know. That's all. And also I realized after doing this for so long. That sometimes you just have to sit down and code something. And it's best if you do this in silence. Because then you are you can focus on this 100%. I did a little bit of uh, coding off stream. And I made leaps of progress in certain things that I always wanted to change. That I can't even explain to you guys. Because it doesn't make any sense. You, there's nothing. Sometimes in programming there's nothing tangible to talk about. You just have to do certain things. I implemented a pivot point. Now does that work for you? Not at all. But it works for me, right? I can now draw sprites in a better way if I want to. And that helps a lot with sorting sprites and, you know, if something is in front or behind, you know. But it doesn't do anything for you because it's mostly technical. Just like what I'm doing right now. Okay, so we get this. We can get rid of that. We animate the entity. We draw. Get that. We get the range. The reset. Shouldn't happen here. <coughs> yeah, right about that. Not everything is tangible. Yeah. And so essentially, 
I, after doing this for a very long time, and you, you learn this over time, you, you just notice, oh, it doesn't make any sense to, like, yes, you can stream that, but you will just sit there and, like, I stream to interact with you guys, right, and have some fun. And uh, that's mostly how I want to do it. I'll get rid of this now. It should be fixed. Any other ranges? I forgot. No. Cool. And then we can close this window. Make this a little bit smaller. Now it should be fixed. We should no longer see a different... Uh, whatever that's called. Different size. For the attack range indicator. I still don't know why Visual Studio Code sometimes shows the wrong. Let's see. Ah, cool. We fixed it. See, like nothing much happened, but at least now, whenever you're placing a hero, it actually shows it up, uh, shows the whatever that's called correctly. The attack range indicator. Sub bro. Hey, Major Who, long time no see, bro. Good morning. You could try DirectX 12 for a new game dev arc or maybe DirectX 12 for cooking. <laughs> um, I don't want to do DirectX 12 because I think my honest opinion about being an indie developer who doesn't use an engine, let's say like Unity, Godot, Game Maker, Unreal Engine, you don't have, especially when you're alone, you don't have the capacities to write a fully fledged Vulkan renderer that is reserved for the big engines, for the big developer teams. OpenGL, in my opinion, is the perfect choice, or maybe DirectX, because it is much simpler than those libraries. And you don't want to spend all of your time. If you want to make a game, you don't want to spend all of your time writing a renderer, right? All right, it's time. Uh, did we fix the attack bug? Is he doing 20 damage to him? If he's doing 28 damage, I think it was 28? 24? Was it 24? Let's see. Was it 20? Oh yeah, it was 25. And I think the skeleton has one armor or something. Does he have one armor? Let's find it. Oh, it's called init enemy, right? Mm, and we don't need any growth here. Yeah, so for example, like clean up code like this. Oh my, that's a glorious switch case statement. Yeah, it is. It is 100%. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do it without a switch statement, but I can't actually. not possible because sometimes I need to do code. What do we have here actually? Uh, we have a 12 movement speed, attack speed, lightning resistance and cold resistance on a skeleton? Guys, are skeletons resistant to magic? I don't think they are, right? Maybe a skeleton has armor, but these are the base skeletons. I want my game... Good morning, PMD Cat. How are you doing? I want my game to be about skeletons. And mostly undead. So the skeleton, either the normal skeleton or like what I thought would be cool is a, a crawling skeleton, right? As the very basic. So if I kill a skeleton, it turns into a crawling skeleton that has no lower body anymore but just an upper body that's dragging along here are skeletons resistant to magic in real life <laughs> i don't know <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna leave see you later just lime guys see you later bro depends on the magic type i don't think they take fire damage wait aren't they always very fire susceptive. <sighs> oh. 
You can't cast sleep or charm on a skeleton and many other undead, for example. Yeah, you can't fear skeletons either. Yes. <clears throat> Let me double check here. Okay, I'm happy I fixed this bug. That was annoying. And now it is actually time to work on our five minutes of fun. We can actually <clears throat> buy cakes and buy no skill gamer. We can actually. I don't think I need attack radius because they don't attack. Hmm. He's level. Wow, how does he have seven skill points? Is it my save game? Do I need to. Delete that. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, where is that actually? Save backup and save game. Yeah, we need to delete those two. And then start the game again. What is a boner skeleton? A skeleton that tosses a, a bone. And that bone can chain between different units so for example if i have two units here the boner would toss a skeleton bone to this guy once it hits this guy boom it's going to bounce off and hit this guy too and different boners have different lengths of chains if that makes sense okay can follow that's cool. Is it implemented already? This is already implemented, yeah. It might not work, but it is already implemented, yeah. It worked in the past, but I did a ginormous rework. It might not work 100%, but most of the code is already there, yeah. Um, we could test if it works, actually. Let's try. Here. This is where I tell the game which type of skeleton I want. We can spawn bonus in the first one. Then it should spawn me boners here. Or maybe one boner. Looking very good. Yeah, that's supposed to be a boner. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, um, yeah. How do you get a boner without flesh? Well, you have to ask the skeleton, sir. <clears throat> different boners have different lengths? Yeah, seems legit. 100%. Mm -hmm. Is it like? Is it really bugged? Okay, I guess I'll have to fix that really quickly. Boner, idle run attack. Let's see. Mm, no, not the PNG file. Wrong. The ace pro. Hey. It's gotta be here, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm, the skeleton I'm talking about is this guy right here. He has. What do you call this, guys? Um, the pirates wear that over their eyes. What do you call that? Eye patch. Ah, he has an eye patch. And it looks like I accidentally... Yeah, I changed the location of him. 448104. Gonna change that really quickly. The A idol is 448. And 1104. <coughs> And then, uh, let's see, two frames, and then this is walking, that would be 512. Which is four frames. One, two, three, four. And then over here is attacking. Which is 608, right? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I in the past I had different texture atlases. Now I just have one big one. Huge texture atlas. Uh, it is inspired by a game called Chronicon. If you guys... Oh, TCAP, are you here? Uh, can I ask you a question? Could you please do me a favor? Please? Like, please. Please, please. No, please, come on. Like, just one tiny question, bro. I need your help. Don't do it. I need you to log on to Chronicon. And you know they have poison puddles, right? I want to do this. Okay, let's see. Let's say this is my poison puddle, right? It's And on Chronicon it looks the same, right? Can you take a character that is a little bit large? Okay. And then make the character... Come on, move properly. Make the character move below the poison puddle and tell me if the character in like this location takes damage or not because in my opinion in my humble opinion if a character moves below this poison puddle right he should not take damage what do you guys think the character should start taking damage once he gets too close to the poison puddle vertically uh, yeah vertically but here in this location he's below the poison puddle should not take damage his feet should be on the poison yeah his feet right here are below the poison so he shouldn't be taking damage and so the reason why i'm asking is because he's not in the puddle but but if we have an explosion here this is an explosion you see that and the the enemy stands here i think he should be hit what do you guys think? Should this guy be hit by this explosion in this location when he stands here? Yes or no? Still not any explosion? An explosion has a height, but a puddle doesn't. Blast radius, yep. So in my opinion, the blast radius, even if he's here, I think he should be hit. Right? You think he shouldn't be hit, TCAP, when he's here? Should he be hit here, but not here? It's a bit odd, right? Damn nice sprites. Thank you, man. It depends. If it hits the cloak, no. If it hits the body, yeah. Yeah, this is the question. It's difficult to say that with top-down games, you know. Mm, and I guess the best example for this would be... Uh... The best example of this is... Maybe I can take a look at Vampire Survivors. I would keep the hitbox on the feet. He would need two hitboxes. Is it confusing to the player? I don't know. What about Sharpner? Could cause damage beyond the initial blast. Yeah, I mean, sure. That's for sure, but... I don't know, like, it is a, it, I guess I have to take a, should we take a look at Vampire Survivors really quickly? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the wizard is, uh, his hitbox is, he should be lower. Lung butter? No, I am actually sick. Um, let me think. Use the brain, come on. Use the brain. I just need to use the brain. If you want the player to know everything, you can have a section in a character select that shows the hitbox's boundaries. Yeah, but if I use two hitboxes, I'm thinking about using two. Um, I want to boot up Vampire Survivors really quickly. Steam. Just to know how, he's do how they're doing it. And the best way to do that is to lure enemies into puddles. Oh shit, I closed the wrong window. Fuck. Keeping a consistent hitbox around the feet is probably the best choice. So, like, the reason why I'm asking about this is... Here's where it gets interesting. Let me show you something. I have arrows in the game. Right? 
Let's take this burning arrow for example, right? Um, if the arrow flies and we have a hitbox here at the bottom, right? For collision detection with ground stuff. What if the projectile flies like this? I think it should hit the unit, man. Took an arrow to the knee. Right, if the projectile flies here, this guy should be hit. But he shouldn't be hit by the poison puddle, right? This, in my opinion, is the one thing I have to fix. And I'm currently working on that. And I guess most of it is feel. But I think the projectile should hit this guy here. It should hit him here, should hit him here, and here. So this is like a, either a rectangular or hitbox or a sphere, right? Why should it not hit him? Well, it is what well, we are currently discussing it, right? If the arrow hits him here, but uh, that that is it should hit him. But a poison puddle on the ground that is this size should not hit him because he's below. It's tough call because of the 2.5D perspective. Yeah, it's a tough call. Definitely. Is it back here now? Yeah. It depends on how you consider the game world. If you consider it some presentation of 3D, smoke and arrow shouldn't hit. If you consider it 2D, everything should hit. It's difficult to say, you know, because you can see... Can you see this circle here? This is the feet hitbox collider. So if this guy right here has an ability, right? It's bad that this is both. Maybe I should put it down here. Let me change that really quickly. My to-do list needs to be further down because it's literally in here. That's too far down, I guess. Bloons has gotten around the issue by using a bird's eye to do It's like 2.1D, so collisions are just to do. Yeah, Bloons has gotten around this issue because they have a perfect... Dude, where's my to-do bar? Oh, it's minus. Oops. It's above the screen. Okay, that's fine. Let me change the type really quickly to a skill. Um, I, I was uh, working on this off stream, uh, the burning arrow. If I give my dude enough. Oh, I see. A second here. This needs to be tier one. <clears throat> yeah, am I stupid? Come on, one second. <coughs> Save. Shouldn't it show up? Yeah. Give me some time. Okay, you see this? Uh, do you see the circle around the fire? Now, the guy. Oh my god, this circle is so bad. I just noticed. Top down is really bad. Maybe it should be a box, not a circle. I mean, yeah, sideways, he's gonna get hit now. Right? Yeah, still doesn't work very well. Still working on that. It's using this collider right here, the, the circle one. Yeah, he's taking damage and then dying. Maybe collision shapes should, could be cylinders instead of circles with height and Y offset. So in addition to radius check, you also check if it overlaps on the Y axis. I, uh, I, I don't know how to do a cylinder. 
<clears throat> but that's a good idea, yeah. Yeah, so basically this is what I'm doing uh, uh, off stream at the moment, trying to figure out how to do proper collision here with this stuff. But how about we test out really quickly how Vampire Survivors is doing that. Mm, because I think there's a character in Vampire Survivors that creates a poison puddle. It's not a poison puddle, but a magic pool. And this magic pool, uh, we can drag enemies below to see. I think which one is it? I don't know which one of these. Oh, I think it's this guy, right? I have no idea. Get. Okay, so. Oh, I see. I can. Lol, what is this? Oh my god. Why is he like. Uh, hey! How. Uh, like, he, he does knockback. Dude, stop! Why are you knockbacking the enemy? I can test? <coughs> Excuse me. I can't test this. What is it? This guy's OP. Do you have passives on? I don't know. I've, I didn't play the game in a long time. How do I quit? Ah. Let's see. Passives. How do I see that again? Power-ups? Refund power-ups? Okay. And then this guy... Um, Shit. This, like this, yeah. Maybe I got the knockback from this weird card here. Healing is doubled. Recovering HP damages nearby enemies for the same amount. Okay, let's do that. Hey, where the fuck am I? And why do I knock these guys back? Guys, I can't test it. Whatever. We can't test it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> we'll just have to figure out what makes sense for us, I guess. Yeah, this is what I'm working on currently, and I'm also working on showing up damage numbers here because, yeah, I think they should... It should show damage numbers. Use the other card. Is it the card? Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna give it one more try then. Cylinders, cylinders are roughly two circuits connected with a rectangle. Yeah. Thank you very much for subscribing, bro. Oh, guys. My voice. Damage numbers equals fun. Yeah, yeah. Damage numbers are very important. Just Google some gameplay videos of that character. Yeah, maybe we can. Actually, I think that's better because on YouTube. Uh, let's see. What is he? What is the ability called? Guys, what is this ability called? Do you know this? Can I see that somewhere? Maybe in collectibles? Collection? Ah, we can see that here. It is called Santa Water. Mm hmm. <coughs> All right, let's see. Uh, Santa Water versus Curse and Vampire Survivors. Uh -huh. Continental Santa Water. It's a bit fast, but maybe we can see it here. Yeah, they're all above, though. Maybe we can find one where there's stuff below. Let's see. Wait, there it is. Already have. I think if I take a look at this, it looks like these guys take damage here already. Let's see, go by frame by frame. 
So what I'm trying to figure out is if these guys on the bottom, when they take damage below this. Wait. Oh, I see. I can't really... They take damage, but he doesn't have damage numbers enabled. So literally they have a rectangular hitbox and they take damage immediately. Gotcha, bitch. So it's literally just top down. Yeah, it's Mister. Thank you very much for following. It does the simplest thing, which is they have one hitbox. Yeah, I think so too. The 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 annoying thing, the one, the only annoying thing is I can do that too, right? That's fine. I can give this a rectangular hitbox. I can give this guy a rectangular hitbox. They all have rectangular hitboxes. I think. I want to make the rectangular hitbox of these guys a bit smaller so it doesn't like show the head. This could easily be solved with rusts and it's also safe. <sighs> these rust andies in chat all the time. It's crazy, bro. In rust, the compiler is gonna... Uh, Scream at you first. Rewrite in Rust, I fear. Mm -hmm. Just tested it. Only hits when it touches the circle. So, like, the sprite touches the circle and then it hits immediately, right? Thank you very much for helping out. So, Or in Chronicon as well? How is it in Chronicon? Wait, maybe we can find a Chronicon example. Chronicon Poison Pool. Let's see. Is there some poison? Smooth leveling. Let's see here. Oh god. Do we have some gameplay? So fast always. <laughs> like how do you see anything there, man? It looks like that thing, any application can be written in JavaScript, will eventually be written in JavaScript. Ah, man, I just need a poison puddle, but I guess we can't find one, huh? Let's see here. Mm, poison gas, okay. Holy moly, what does he have around him? What the fuck? <gasps> Lol? Yeah, I mean, um, holy shit. What am I looking at? That's some damage numbers if I've ever seen some, man. Holy. Yeah. Hmm. This is so fast, I can barely follow. Well, maybe TCAP can do it. Uh, if he can't, then uh, I guess we'll just uh, figure it out ourselves. But it looks like in Vampire Survivors, it just hits, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a rectangular collider. And this guy will get a rectangular collider and we are going to get rid of the feet collider. The circle around the feet. And then the poison... <coughs> the poison puddle? Uh, which one? I think he had the poison puddle, right? You have the poison puddle too. Let's add another node. We can do the same thing. Skill. It's this one. It's called poison cloud, not puddle. Tier zero skill. If we have this guy right here, um, did I not save this? No, I did not. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh my god, the cooldown is long. Oh why? Does it hit? Oh, oh. Shit! He's out of range. No. Wait, I can spawn another one. Actually spawn another one.
Does Godot have rust bindings? <laughs> Guys, what are you talking about with rust? We don't want that. Why does he have fire damage? Like, I still need to fix that, I guess. <laughs> they don't hit him. <coughs> oh my god! What is this? <laughs> what is the size of this thing? Holy! <laughs> Jesus! Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do it like this. We will have two types of colliders. Rectangular colliders for the units and circular colliders for some ground effects that are circular. So a poison puddle is going to have a circular collider, just like in Vampire Survivors, but it's going to collide with the rectangular collider of the unit. The rectangular collider of the unit is going to incorporate like, I don't know, let's take a random unit. Uh, this is going to take this much of the unit, I think. Right? Something like that. If I had to draw a collider on this unit, it would look something like this. That That's what I'm thinking. Right, for this guy, and then uh, for this guy, it's, let's see, when he's standing, something like that. Right, a little bit bigger. But always a little bit below the head. Oh, oops. And then for this guy, since he's very tall, like this, maybe. Yeah, this, the staff is in the way. Right, but, you know, something like that. Something like this. Did you draw all these? Yeah, it takes some time to draw this. Yeah, I draw drew all of this myself. Mm hmm. Took a while. I try to like draw a sprite a day as to not have too much to do over time. But I think I already have enough sprites to have a fully versioned game, actually. Maybe one or two more boss How's it sprites. Going, my dude? Hello, Babette. Study pose. Who is this? I don't recognize, recognize this streamer. Why do I have over six months sub? I'm cheating, actually. With rectangular hitboxes, putting a poison puddle on a vertical road is advantageous because the hitbox will be on the puddle longer. Sprite size divided by four offset this from sprite center. Here we go. I calmly rec suggest individual hitboxes. No, we won't do that. <clears throat> individual hitboxes. Absolutely not. <clears throat> no way. And I don't want to do sprite size divided by four. I'm just going to define the hitboxes for each unit separately. We don't have that many different units in the game. So far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine... 10. 10 units and out of those units I'm not going to use a single one. Maybe I use the bat, but I will redesign the bat to be a skeleton. Instead of green, I will probably give it a skull like this. Would actually look really cool. Let's test it out here. Don't I have a small skull here somewhere? I think I have a small skull. Uh, there's gotta be a small skull here. I know I have one. 100%. Where's that? Uh, I have a skull, bro. Anyways, let's just take this. And make that smaller. Hey, Maelstrom. Hey. Metal Storm. Hello there, bro. How you doing, man? Yeah, we take this and then I make it, I don't know. Something like that. Looks much cooler, right? Than what I had before. And then we can also give it like red eyes. Red glowing eyes. Or maybe like here. Oh wow. Look how mean this guy looks. Damn. Welcome back. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Actually, I'm gonna keep it. This looks really good. 
I just need to fix a couple of pixels. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> yeah, I had to sort out a bunch of stuff off stream, so uh, everything is gonna... I can continue streaming, essentially. Uh, everything I do is so that I can continue streaming. And I'm happy that you guys join me again, you know, after taking a long break. I appreciate that a lot. Actually, I want to fix this right now. Look at this. I, I, I think I can already do this. Wait. here fuck uh, this one is one down and then one up and then two up I guess and then one down and oh this is attacking um, yeah, we'll figure out attacking later. Cool, we have another enemy in the game, which is going to be a flying enemy. What here? I hired a cleaner so your wife doesn't have to interrupt you with the vacuum. No, I <laughs> know. Looks like he's reverse cross-eyed, I like that. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so I guess I have something to do. And I still have to figure out why they deal fire damage in the skill tree, because they shouldn't be dealing any fire damage. It looks like this burning arrow is giving him damage, which it shouldn't. Yeah. It is... Huh. He is getting the damage? So this is interesting. The ability... Look. This ability gives him 30 poison damage. And it is added on top of his attack. Every attack. That is a bug. It looks like I need to fix that. Hello, big boss. New setup, eh? Uh, new setup? No, not really. But, um, yeah, just... Uh... Okay, guys. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to Path of Exile right now. Because I still wanna play it. So, the big game plan about the Path of Exile is the following. Path of Exile 2.0 is coming out soon. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. Path of Exile 2. They have a website for this even, I think. Over here. Still want to play PoE? Yes. Early access in 2024. <clears throat> I can register my email here. I need to get early access. And I don't know if they will prioritize streamers that stream PoE, content creators on YouTube that uh, do YouTube content about PoE. <coughs> but my goal is to be consistent with Path of Exile and try to play at least a couple of hours or a couple of minutes every day. So that's what I'm going to do now. Play a little bit of PoE and uh, make some YouTube videos about that as well. So hopefully they invite me into the early access. Because I think this game is going to be ginormous. It's going to be very big. I have a feeling. I don't think it will be as big as Diablo 4, but it will be huge. Alright guys. I think we made good progress today. We fixed a couple of bugs. There's still a couple of bugs as well. Uh, but we are going to continue with this tomorrow, like with the AOE damage calculation. With the hitboxes, we'll all, all do that tomorrow, okay? And then tomorrow, we will also start our my first playthrough of Dark Souls. And uh, push, our, if you are here, or TCAP, I don't know. 
please make sure that I don't get back seated. I do not want to get back seated. I don't know if I have the tag. Let me see here. Uh, do I have no back seating? I need to add that again. No back seating. Let's get rid of some of the tags here. <clears throat> I don't want to be spoiled out of pa uh, Path of Exile, out of Dia and Di I don't want to be spoiled out of Dark Souls 1. The first time, yeah. Dark Souls is one of my favorite games. We are going to play this tomorrow after the typical programming session. Blind? I've never watched anything related to it. I have never read any guides. Nothing. And um, I don't know any of the bosses, of course. I have played Elden Ring. That's all I have done. Uh, uh, yeah, that's all the experience I have. And I don't want to be backseated into knowledge in the game. I want to figure it out myself. And if I'm really stuck, then I'm going to ask. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is still fucked. Okay. Now, uh, again, uh, guys, I took a look at the Path of Exile recordings. And you are right, I was lagging. Now, I need your guys' help in a second. I'm going to go into a zone in Path of Exile. And you, please, you guys tell me if the game lags or not, okay? Uh, what is it? SSF, HC... Ele elemental hit. Um, until I die. Gotcha, bitch. No guide. No guide. Elemental hit until I die. There we go. And we do that in Path of Exile. I have to be consistent with Path of Exile. I'm gonna stay true to that. Yeah, even though a couple of streamers have already quit the game. We're going to switch over to that. Uh, not flatline. Thank you so much for following. And kill games 250 as well. Thank you guys. Uh, good that you don't use uh, no backseat in my programming. Chat keeps this going. <laughs> anyway, so um, to give you guys some uh, background information. I have played this character. I farmed a little bit to get the new gem that we wanted to get last time which is wild strike the alternate version of that gem let me find that really quickly uh huh flicker strike viper strike hey huh? am i blind guys am i blind am i stupid Where's Wild Strike? Wild Strike? Hey. Wait a minute. Ah, it's here. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> Ex exciting new build. Mm, where is it now? Oh god, I can't find it, bro. Where the. Ah, here. I have farmed this ability right here the Wild Strike of Extremis. And as I got the ability. I saw at the very top the cost. I need 26 mana, 26 life, and 26 energy shields to cast it. So I was like, okay, let me equip this. Where the fuck is it? Right here. And then I went into an area, right? And then I couldn't use the ability. Because I don't have enough energy shield to cast it. I have zero. <laughs> so that's another ability that I can't use. Yeah. Meaning we have to play with elemental hit for now. Unfortunately. And uh, you guys on YouTube... I'm switching over to Path of Exile right now, and I know that the thumbnail doesn't reflect that. 
I'm going to be switching over to a different YouTube account if for those of you who want to watch. I know there's quite a few here. I really appreciate the support, guys. Uh, for those of you who are interested in game development, I will do the same stream tomorrow. But I'm switching over to this channel right now, which is a more recent channel of mine that is more game gaming related. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to this. Also, let me fix the camera for PoE really quickly. Make this maybe a bit smaller. Maybe a bit smaller as well. And then with the chat. Test. Put it here right next to me. That seems to have worked very well. Very nice. Put it like this. I'm missing I don't know so yeah I appreciate the support on YouTube thank you guys uh, I will turn off the stream here and then switch over to that YouTube account okay bye bye YouTube thank you guys